Alright, hi guys. Today we're gonna black out my rear emblem. Um, first, you're gonna need to tape the area, leaving a little bit of extra space. Then, of course, you're gonna have to mask on the side as such. Make sure to really tape it out so you don't have any overspray. There we go. Now, for that DIY, you're gonna need a can of plastic tape, some masking tape, a microfiber towel, and some acetone. First, once the area is taped, I'm gonna grab some acetone, pour a little bit on my microfiber towel. I would have rather used uh, some rubbing alcohol, but uh, unfortunately I was out of rubbing alcohol. All right, so now you're gonna wipe down the area with the acetone. Make sure to really clean every single spot. All the angles have to be wiped down. This will help uh, the plastic dip to adhere better. Um, it will stick on it a lot better. It will also be a lot easier to remove once the product is applied. All right, now I'm going inside. I'm gonna pour some warm water inside a pot. Uh, I will put my can of plastic dip inside just to warm up the can. This will help to have a better spring pattern. I leave it for about five minutes. Uh, it wasn't particularly cold that, that day, but it just makes it, it's just safer to do that. All right, so now I'm gonna just do a little spray test just to make sure the pattern is all right, like I said earlier. Uh, here's on my first coat. I'm gonna spray a light, even coat, really 50-50, barely misting it on. All right, now onto my second coat. Same, it's gonna be a very light mist on it. I'm leaving about 10 to 15 minutes between each coat. I mean, that day was really windy, so it was drying in about five minutes, so you can just see if it's dry to the touch. Here onto my third coat. Third coat is gonna be slightly heavier, not too much. You will see, yeah, exactly. Now you can see it's a little bit wet as I apply it slightly heavier than the coat before. All right, here I'm showing to you guys how windy it was on that day. Uh, it was pretty re tough to record. My microfiber tower was flying all the time and it was really tough to grab. Even the phone sometimes was about to fly. All right, now here I'm cleaning the spray nozzle to get an even pattern. Sometimes it gets clogged, especially with the wind when it dries quickly. So make sure in between each coat you do a little spray test. So here I'm going on my fourth coat. As you can see, I'm going a lot heavier now. You can see that the area is almost wet everywhere. Make sure to really uh, get those spots wet all around the emblem because you're gonna have to peel that off in the end. So now my fifth coat, the heaviest one. Make sure to cover all the angles. As you can see, I'm also spraying on the sides all around the emblem. Now that the area is still wet, this is the moment where you need to peel off the plastic dip so it leaves a nice and clean edge. As you can see here, I almost dropped the paper on top. Make sure that it doesn't touch your plastic dip because it's wet, so it's gonna be tough. So here you see me, just to show you guys how you take the plastic dip off uh, once it's sprayed. I actually messed up slightly and touched, like I said, <laughs> like you shouldn't, while I was trying to do something and I messed up. So here you can see how to take it off and you can just respray without any issue after that, just starting all the process all over again. Once I was done, here is how you take it off. It should get out in almost one sheet. Make sure to wait about a solid 15 minutes, especially for that one. So grab the edge carefully. Try to really not be too far once you grab it. Then for the inside, it's kind of difficult, uh, especially since it was really cramped in there. Cramped in there, and uh, so I, I, I used a, a pen just to be able to grab the edges, and then I just peeled it off with my hands. It's a, it's really, you have to be really. Uh, delicate with the process. Make sure not to scratch the emblem. Then for the bigger areas like these, it's a lot easier. You just grab somewhere or scratch somewhere. 
then you will be able to hold on to the plastic tip as so all right there we go then just go on and take everything off i already did most of the work just to show you how easy it goes i was no i didn't want to show you the whole process i don't think you guys need to waste your time watching everything and i don't have a time lapse i'm not, I'm not really sure how to do that yet so yeah i'm trying to improve as uh I'm doing more vi more and more videos. So now here's the final product. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna use some top coat from PlastiDip just to make sure that the area uh, will last. This basically works as a as a conditioner, sort of. It makes it a lot smoother and it helps with protecting with uh, the sun, UV UVs, uh, UV rays. Sorry and it will help uh, protect the emblem. So I am applying it everywhere onto it. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, in my next video, I will try to black out my trims and my side mirrors and also doing the tire lettering kit. So I'll see you in the next videos.